Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's been a while since my last review but let's see if I can get back on track. Today we got Ear Toys Era The Last Father, played of course by Pedro Pascal, we are going to check Joel from The Last of Us, the HBO TV show and here is the art box, pretty simple with just a silhouette in the front, in the sides with just some uh, greens and the back uh, the usual warning and notices. Let's open it up and see what we got inside. Inside here in the first layer we do have our figure with a bunch of ends, replacement arms, but before we go further, Toys Era did miss to ship the holster, so you need to contact your retailer if you indeed are missing these accessories. In the second layer we do got the weapons, display base, the backpack and so on, we are going to check them all one by one, and since this is a black lamp shell I will just use this ear to check the accessories. And we are going to start here with the replacement arms, totally we got 4. But these ones, I would wish it would be a bit more dirty, they are all too clean, but I think they will serve the purpose. Then we got a total of 6 cans, these are stewed beef cans and something like that, but they are made of die cast, they are quite heavy and I do like the details that they did here, you in fact can read everything on uh, these cans. This is a Morton's House Meatballs too. Hmm. And then we got our whiskey jug, also made of die cast, kind of heavy but nice. Then we got as well a kind of a thermos, a water bottle, but without the straps there. I remember there were straps on the prototype photos and made of die cast too. We got then our backpack with a sleeping bag as well that you can detach if you want. This backpack is all made of a very nice fabric and I do like the inclusion of magnets there on the top that you can use to close the backpack. It's a nice um, addition but the magnets don't always stay in place. The downer part you cannot open and the sides are closed as well. Then we got here a assault rifle, with a good weathering, the assault rifle is all made of plastic, you cannot remove the cartridge, but I do like the paint application on this. It's not heavy, since the, there is no die cast pieces, but I do like this strap here, it's very DIY strap, and I think gives a lot of personality into this uh, assault rifle. Then we got our sniper rifle and this one does have die cast parts. Toys Era said that this is made of leather, this strap over here, so it's always cool. It got some weight into it since it got some die cast parts. I miss although the inclusion of a real glass for the scope. We got also a shovel made of die cast, quite heavy to be honest. The handle of course is made of wood, but the shovel part, that steel part is made of die cast. I do like the coloring, but it's a accessory that I may not use at all. These are the other set of detachable arms, this one for you to use with a gun, and then we got the usual ends. The ends are very well painted, and I do appreciate that they add some detail on the veins, but I wish they could be more dirty. Then we got some jerky beef, I don't know why they included this, <laughs> it they, looks a bit odd to be honest, but to make a composition will look cool. Then we got uh, a knife, this knife also made of die cast, very pointy, but the die cast does bring some weight into it. And then we got a flashlight, this flashlight I do like the weathering on it, I think is very well done, is a pity there is no light, if they could include some lighting it would be much better, but that's how it is. And then we got this pistol, all made of die cast as well. While I like die cast, I don't like the weight uh, they bring into this, because then there's a lot of pressure into the hands of our figure. And then we got these two watch options, one is a broken watch and the other one is a clean one, like we saw in the game and in the TV show of course. Then we got here the two holsters that I said that Toys Era uh, missed to ship and then I got them afterwards, one for the knife and one uh, for the gun and later I will show you how to install them in our belt. And then we got here our display base, very basic as Toys Era always does without any nameplate, I think most of us will use other base plate for this. Taking a closer look now here at our Joel, and there's been a lot of discussion about the likeness to Pedro Pascal, I kinda see the actor 
on this head sculpt, but it's not a 10 out of 10. But it was the same with the Hot Toys one when they did the Mandalorian. So I think it's a kind of likeness that is not easy to tackle, but I do like the expression on this one. In some parts I kinda see Pedro Pascal, in other parts I don't, but I think it still uh, works pretty well for this figure and I don't have huge complaints about it. Here the side profile, I really can see Pedro Pascal, but sometimes when see from the front or from the top, it doesn't look so much uh, like him. But it depends on each opinion. I think this is still a very good option for a Joel for The Last of Us. As for the outfit itself, I think it's pretty well done. Here we got the shirt inside. Inside you still have a tank top t-shirt, but you see that the shirt is already kind of used, is not a new shirt. They could add a bit more on the coat, however, the coat could have some more weathering into it. Not that it looks like new, but a bit of more weathering in the coat I would appreciate. Then you got these skinny jeans. They, they look cool too, but very clean. And then you got here uh, the boots. As for the articulation, this is a new body. I'm just opening up right now. I don't want to go much over it, but I'm not finding any problem in this uh, figure related to articulation. It's what a normal figure would do. The torso does have some articulation, was one of the first things I check. The waist has a good uh, rotation as well. The head sculpt you can rotate sideways up and down without any problem too. And then on the knees you do have our normal double jointed knees, but here the extension is a bit restricted because of the jeans but uh, that's a compromise you need to take with these kind of trousers because they are very tight. The boots are just one piece only, so of course it will be a bit restricted for articulation. But overall, I think the figure does look cool, and then with some accessories onto it, I think it will be perfect for The Last of Us Joel. Now let's take a look here into the detachable arms and the holsters. Uh, to remove the, the normal arms, it's pretty easy, you just pop them off and they will come out easy, and then you just attach the other ones uh, as it should be. And as you can see, I'm not attaching the right way, I'm just showing you how it will look like, but I think they will look okay. And then you have less articulation because these kind of bodies are not perfect for these, but I think they will still work. Remember that then you need to use the shirt on top, so it will look always better and then you can add the watch. You can add some accessories onto it and it will look uh, perfect. The color not being match, it doesn't matter because you are not showing the inner part of the body. As for the belt here, if you want to change, if you want to add the holsters, you will need to remove the belt, but take care because this belt is a very thin pleather. You need to be very careful. You will need to remove the belt and then insert the holsters on the right side here in the back. That's how Joel used them. Here you can see after assembling the holsters already into the belt, is this how it will look like? I don't like because adds a lot of uh, stuff on the back and then the shirt will become too tight. But if you want to use them, please uh, do it. There's no any issues. But here is just a quick look, a quick unboxing at our Joel from Toys era. In my honest opinion, I think this figure serves the purpose pretty well. I do like the accessories that comes with it, even though I'm not going to use most of them, but I do like uh, the way that Toys era did uh, this Joel from The Last of Us. I can't wait now just to have Ellie and to compare them both. That's all for today, and I will see you in the next one.